Hello guys and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a let's build and we are going to be building this charming little Irish cottage you can see in front of you. This is a rather special build because it is one of the first tutorials that I did on my channel and I thought we'd do a little throwback today and I'm going to show you how to build it with all the new blocks and textures in the game to make it look even nicer. So let's get started. First off I've made this rather charming little space invader <laughs> to show you block for block how big the building is going to be you can see it's got some rather unusual features the bits sticking out of the front here are going to be for the front door this is going to be the back door and these two eyes <laughs> are actually going to be the internal walls now you can see this one lines up with the yellow brick that i've done here but this one is offset by one and you'll see why that is when we get to it so the first thing you're going to need is a block of polished andesite and the reason i'm putting these in all the corners and on all of these yellow blocks is because it will make the foundation of the building look that much stronger you want to stick them on all of them including these two internally and the ones on the front and on the back then we're going to go to the corners and we're going to start by placing a cobblestone on top of that then back to the andesite and then back to the cobblestone and then finally finishing off with the andesite on top and i'm going to repeat that on all four corners of the building so just on the corners let's do that again it's really simple just one and then the other one and then the other there we go and i'm going to do that on the back as well once we've done that, we're going to start making the shape of the roof. And again, I quite like to do this in andesite going up. So I'm going to have it in this shape here, but I am going to delete the blocks underneath because we're going to fill these in in a moment. Okay, in case you didn't see that, we're going to do it on the other side. So it should be five wide at this point. So one, two, three, four, and five, just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in all of this here and what I like to do is a little bit of texturing. I tend to put um, another couple of andesite blocks, they don't have to be in a perfect pattern and I like to put a bit of smooth stone and a bit of the unpolished andesite at the bottom to kind of make it look like the stone is a little bit worn but as we get to the top have more cobblestone in it because these are the actual stones that we want to make it look like the building is made of. So I might stick in a few bits of texturing just there but most of it is going to be concentrated at the bottom. Okay, so that's both ends of the walls filled in. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come down one from here. So this is going to be the roof line and I'm going to go all the way across from underneath and this will show us where our external, the rest of these walls are going to go. So we're going to do one on the front and one on the back as well. For the doorways, what I'm going to do is start off by putting some stone and some andesite and then finishing off that with cobblestone coming up across the top here and we will finish detailing this a little bit later and then we're going to finish the walls here exactly the same as we did before and i actually quite like to put um, on the red places there a polished andesite to just kind of give it that solid foundation look and we're going to fill this in and i'm just going to leave a little gap just there which is going to be a window later on so we have two windows at the front same again at the back but you can see I've left no windows and I've just brought this up in this kind of upside down U formation to form the door. Before doing the roof I'm going to do a little bit of the internal walls so I can show you what this is going to end up like. So I'm actually going to grab some stone stairs, some stone bricks, some stone slabs and that should do us. So this wall here is going to be for the the smaller bedroom and what I'm going to do to make it look a little bit spacious is I'm going to actually put some upside down stairs here and this also gives the effect of perhaps that the wall is starting to break down a little bit and I'm going to put another one here so that we get that kind of effect of actually this hasn't been looked after very well and the wall is going to come up to the same height as the top here and I'm going to whack in just here an upside down stair which is going to be the doorway and we'll do the same on the other side in a moment. So that's this wall finished all the way to the top. Now we're going to do this wall and we're going to pop in again some stone more towards the bottom where it looks as if it's been rubbed smooth and then bringing up that cobblestone up to the top and I'm going to stick again another upside down stair just there to show where the doorway is. And that's that internal wall done. Now on this side I'm going to bring up this pillar because this is where our chimney is going to go and I need to know that for the roof in a moment so if I just bring this all the way up to about the height that I'm happy with and I think that'll do for now and we can start working on the roof. So for the roof I've got some spruce stairs, uh, full blocks, half blocks and I've also got the trap doors as well and you'll see what there is as we go I'm going to make this look fairly rough so I'm going to come along here and for the entranceway I'm going to give it its own little flick at 
the top there and we're going to put in a half slab just there to decorate it a bit. I'm going to do the same on this side so it comes up like this. This comes all the way from the end and then I'm going to stick a half slab in there. Now for this bit here I've grabbed the cobblestone again because we are wanting to go up like this. Bring this all the way up to the top stick a half slab up there and then we're going to pull this out so going from the bottom here we're going to do all the stairs like this we're going to bring these stairs out as well and i'm going to put an upside down stair just there to finish that off pull this one out and then I'm gonna stick half slabs underneath just to make that look a little bit thicker just there and we will probably detail this in a moment for the rest of the stairs you want to have it jutting up next to the andesite here and coming across. Now where the rooms are, I'm not going to do very much destroying of the roof. I might have a little one like that, but for the most part, we're going to leave this alone because it will make it easier for us to do these rooms. But every so often, I'm going to have things like full blocks and half slabs. And what you can do is you can come behind and you can put a half slab in like that to cover up the gap. And something else you can do, for example, if I did this, you can also whack a spruce trapdoor underneath and that covers up the gap and kind of makes it look as if the roof has been repaired at some point. Again on this side making sure that where the room is we're not doing too much damage to the roof so that we can actually do some things inside the room and I'm just going to finish this off now. Make sure when you're doing the top with half slabs that you leave this space open right next to the chimney and I'll show you what that's for when we start doing our detailing. When you come around the back, we're going to be doing this roof as well. So we're going to take this in from the side. And just like we did on the front, I'm going to whack another cobblestone brick there to bring it up. Bring this up at the side and then we want to put a half slab at the top. And then we want to bring that out on either side. I'm going to put an upside down stair, bring this out and again, just use the half slabs underneath there to detail it. Again, at the back, don't forget to pull this all the way down past that last underside block so that you can give it a nice little trim so it has a bit of an overhang. And on this last block here, I'm just gonna put a half slab. And then let's fill in this little bit here with a full block. We can have a sideways stair here and a full stairs here just to give it that kind of broken look and you're done. Right, it's nice and dark and dingy on the inside and we're going to start working on the fireplace. So bringing forward one block, we are going to put three andesite blocks here and this is going to be kind of the front of the fireplace. Uh, underneath here, this is actually where we're going to have a campfire. So I'm going to stick a half slab on the bottom there and in fact I'm going to change this one to a half slab. And you want these two blocks on these sides to also be four blocks just so that you can't see them through the fire. Now we're going to be doing something a little bit strange off to the side here. I'm going to be putting a stair block. And then I'm going to be putting um, a block here. We're going to be going up the side here, another stair block. And I'm going to start building up behind the fireplace. So let's put another full block here. And then here is going to be a stair block. And here is going to be a stair block as well. For the fireplace, we're going to be using a furnace, a smoker, and a blast furnace. And underneath here, we are going to stick a campfire. And that is what is going to create a little smoke in the room. And it's as if we are feeding that fire and that is what is lighting up the cookies here. Now I quite like to put stairs above it. So if we have one stair facing in this way, one stair facing in this way, and then we'll put a half slab in the middle there. Now I quite like to fill in the blocks up here as well, using a little bit of our mixture again of different blocks so that that completes the fireplace. What you can see now is wrapped around the fireplace is this lovely staircase, which is actually eventually going to lead us up into a little room. We're just gonna finish off this part of the fireplace here. I'm gonna put a stair block just here. I'm gonna have a stair block facing upside down just there. And in fact, if we go on the outside of the house, we can finish that off by putting another stair block on the top to make it look as if the Thing is a little bit wider. I'm actually going to bring it up and I quite like the way that a smoker looks on top here. If we grab again our campfire and also some spruce trapdoors, we can create this little effect here which everybody loves to do to make it look as if the the fire is smoking and I think that the smoker actually kind of makes it look as if it is like a furnace. Uh, the smoke probably should be coming out of that hole there but it still has like a nice kind of textured effect to it and if you really want to you can whack a little stone wall on top there to make it look as if it's kind of got like a chimney grate. There we go. 
Right, I've come back inside and I've textured the floor a little bit with a bit of coarse dirt and a bit of stone. Uh, fun fact, in these real Irish cottages, though, they actually would just have had packed dirt on the floor there, but <laughs> I'm being a little bit nicer to them. And we're going to work on the doorway. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull up two more bricks at the side here because we don't want um, any nasties getting in. I'm actually going to change this one out for some stone stairs and then we need a door. I quite like the way a spruce door looks, but I'm actually going to come inside and place it here so that what we have when we open it is this nice little indent of the door going in. And something that I quite like to do, if we grab ourselves some spruce stairs and some spruce planks, is actually create like a little doorway just here. So if we go around to this side, around to this side, and then plop this on top of the stair block, you get this kind of double effect and you can even detail that as much as you like. At this point, it's really up to you guys what you do with the interior, but I'll show you what I've done inside my house so that you can see uh, some of the historical features and some ideas that you might use to detail yours. Here we are back at the original cottage and uh, let's go have a look inside. As you can see, what I've done is created a nice little wall around the property and we'll have a look at those details. But first of all, I'm gonna take you inside. So what I've done is I've created a nice cozy little kitchen area. You can see that we've got a loom because they would have done some kind of loom work in here, you know, making uh, blankets and things. We've got a little bit of chest storage, a nice little table area. And the good thing about using these blocks is you can actually walk straight through them. <laughs> so it's like a ghost table that you can have in the middle there. Um, as you can see up here we actually have a proper little room and what I did is actually place a trap door down here so that the internal of this room is much larger. Now I made the decision to actually use full blocks on the floor. You can see that I've actually used the stripped oak along with the oak planks because it gives us this quite interesting texture as if the floor has been worn by people walking on it. Uh, we've got a little bit of storage and a place to put a potted plant if that's if you felt so inclined. Um, we can head back down the stairs. That would be kind of the quarters of, I guess, your um, your farm hand who was working in your in your area. So even people in these tiny little cottages would have actually had servants. Uh, this would be the children's room. Um, no joke, this is exactly like what my grandma's house was like. You know, this is where all the girls slept. The boys slept in here and the parents slept in here. So this is pretty as traditional as it gets. But obviously you can use these rooms for whatever you want. One of the particular details I like actually is using these trap doors as actually the windows so they can open and close which is a nice little detail um, on the downstairs i've also used the same trick where i've used stripped spruce um, actually i think this is dark oak um, spruce and the spruce trap doors to add a little bit of detail to the ground um, you can see that i've put like storage basically everywhere and i actually found that using these dark oak signs adds some little detail as if you've kind of fixed it up a little bit and you can see on here I've actually used some stair blocks so that you create these little holes as if things have gotten kind of broken. Now if we have a look at the outside you can see that I've put like a little farm here with some carrots so they've got like a little little beehive there to help pollinate and around the garden a lot of these cottages would have had little gardens, little propagation station where you can do all your seedlings, a little bit more of a storage area down here this is like your outside storage and if we go around here you can see there's kind of like a little garden path. We can have our potatoes because of course we're an island so we need to have all the potatoes. And uh, your little pigs as well. You've got to be self-sufficient. A uh, little pumpkin patch with a little bit of hidden with a little bit of hidden pumpkin lighting and then a little storage for your coal or your peat I suppose if you're going to go traditionally Irish you could say that this is your peat storage. Now this is a pretty fancy version of the kind of the Irish style cottage, perhaps a slightly more wealthy person, but if you're just getting started in Minecraft, you might not have that time to build anything really fancy, so you can go for this. This is a turf house, you can see on the top here what I've done is used the turf going up to cover this so that it has grass all the way over it. Um, pretty easy to build, all I've done is taken the walls down a couple so it goes up three instead of five so that it's quite cozy on the inside if we pop in you can see it hasn't got separate rooms it's all just one long room and i've used basically just the things that you would have straight away so only oak only cobblestone a little bit of smooth stone uh, a white bed because you might be only able to find some white sheep and just a furnace so this is as basic as i could make it but i've tried to put some detail in so we've got all of these trap doors along here to make it look as if it's kind of holding the dirt up at the back here we even have a little oak garden which has got some wheat growing in it and i've actually used this here because the water is underneath this block here and i don't like that little thing where you can actually see the water here so which is why i've put the composter here so that you can't actually see it and you can use that and obviously you can store all 
wheaten goods out this side and uh, that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this little irish cottage episode and i hope you give it a try because it is genuinely one of my favorite starter houses and i'll see you guys in the next one